church till it's time to awake while freedom is still awake to the presence of the Lord and call for revival from shore to shore Rise up, O oh sleepers, in denominational ruts before freedom is gone and they put you in huts. What time is it? The eleventh hour. are not heard in my ears, says the Lord. Do you not think I heard your first whisper and your first hiss that you ever made? Do you not think I heard that as you plotted to overthrow my people, to overthrow my prophets and put them in graves and in the grave? The Lord said, nay, it shall not be, for I heard it from the start. And you have opportunity now make the most of it. Opportunity. Say it with me, Cynthia. Opportunity. 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 Yeah. Come on, say it with me again. Opportunity. Opportunity. You're going to add an S now. Opportunities. Some will be like Judas, and some will be like Peter. 
Some will weep bitterly, but turn and repent. Others do not believe the words. And so they run their own course, and their lives are spent. But in the eleventh hour, all is given opportunity. Make the most of it. Make the most of it. Every opportunity. Make the most of it. Do you enjoy selling out your brothers and sisters? Do you enjoy comfort for an hour or two? Do you enjoy these things? For it's very short-lived, but eternity is a long time. It's longer than that because time is gone from eternity. And it makes a continual loop. And it never changes. Make the most of the 11th hour. It's also a clarion call to those who would destroy my trunk. It's the 11th hour. Make the most of it. There are voices in the media that were waiting to come out in these last times. Come out now. Speak the truth now, for they cannot silence you any longer. Speak the truth, and I will put a power behind your voice that will absolutely shake the corridors of hell. And you will be the hero of the hour. Two women's voices in media. Speak now. Speak now.
for whom the bell tolls. Those who reject the 11th hour decisions. It is out of my hands, says the Lord. For it is your decision. Daniel 7 is on the move and in place. And I have spoken Babel. But I have offered grace. Take grace by the hand and run through the land that you might live Listen to the sound, 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 listen to the sound. Tribal nations in this country are being raised up and restored. For they know me as their God, and they know Jesus as their Lord. And I am going to show my prophets in the tribal nations exactly what to say. to have them open the doors and prepare my way. There will be no stopping them this time, for they know me as king. And it will right what was wrong and get rid of this wicked, wicked regime. For the axe will be laid to the root and corrupt trees will begin to fall. Look for major changes in the earth, says the Lord, starting in this fall. When the cool wind blows, it will be a faint smell of victory in the air. So start interceding now, says the Lord, and I'll show you how to tame the bear. Listen to the sound, listen to the sound, listen to the sound. Listen to that sound. Freedom. Hallelujah. 
Come on, let's lift our hands and bless our God. Can we do that? Who expected to go in this place this morning? Not I. we intercede and pray now for this nation. Lord, this great nation that you founded. Lord, I ask you that righteous voices be heard in it again. Lord, that right voices that love your people. Right voices that love this nation and what it stands for. 
I pray, Lord God, that those voices will be raised up and put in place. I pray, Lord God, that wicked voices, wicked regimes will run into a wall and not be able to travel any farther. Lord, but restore righteousness in this land. Lord, I ask you to disregard Klaus Schwab's words, Noah Harari's words. I ask you, Lord, to disregard the WHO's words. Lord, I ask you to override. We're asking you from heaven to override all the voices that would capture our posterity to come. Lord, we're asking you, Lord, this nation made its return at the return. Lord, when we attended the return as the spiritual leaders of the nation, the spiritual leaders attended the return. And Lord God repented of our sin and turned from our wicked ways. And we called on you that day and we were heard because you said we would be heard. So we have not dropped that in our faith. We were heard that day. And so, Lord, we, we've done what you told us to do. And now all across this land, we stand with our young and our old and our little ones. Lord, we, we have no other help but heaven. We have no, no other voice to speak but the ones you give us. So, Lord, I'm asking you, not as a show and not as a something to say on a stage, but, Lord, I'm asking you, like Samuel, the prophet, thunder from heaven right the wrongs give your people a new song to sing a song of joy a song of freedom let angels be seen and heard all over the land now let occultic people hide in holes and hide under rocks but let your, your words be heard. Lord, you said if we would repent and turn from our wicked ways that you would hear from heaven and then you would forgive our sin and heal our land. Lord, this land doesn't belong to the one world orders. It doesn't belong to the globalist and the elitist. Lord God, for you gave Abraham a promise wherever his foot trod, you would give him that land. Lord, you have people all over the world. You have prophets everywhere. You have people declaring your word in the Ukraine, in Russia, in India, in the Himalayas. You have people that know you everywhere. In China, is one of the largest churches in the world. Hear their cry. Lord, that and heal our land. Healing of the land is a process of healing. You didn't say a miracle of the land. You said heal the land. So, Lord, now running sores have been exposed. Now we ask the balm of Gilead to pour upon our nation. Pour upon our nation, Lord. And I ask you as Samuel the prophet called out for Israel. And it thundered so loud that their enemies ran. I ask you, Lord, to let your voice thunder from heaven. That the enemies of the United States run. That the enemies of Israel flee the enemies of your people in every nation in Cuba 
you have people. Lord God, expose moles. Expose Judas. Expose those who do not love your word or you and give your people a chance. Lord, we will do better this time. We will do better. We will love each other more. We will talk of your love more. Lord, I intercede and pray as a prophet. Let the gentle wind blow. Lord, if there must be attacks of horrible weather, Lord, let it be seen in the unusual where the corruption lies. If there must be a sound, but Lord, I hear another sound, the sound of chains rattling as shackles are falling off. We are looking to you today, oh God. And Lord, I know my voice and what I'm saying is coming toward your face. But Lord, let it penetrate and come up before your throne in Jesus' name. In the name of the Master, the one who died for us. And the one who rose again for us. Hallelujah. You know, I, for just a moment, for a little while, I've been somewhere else, and it was surprising when I opened my eyes and saw you for a moment. But you're a good sight to see. <laughs> you know, I've made everybody, seems like, not everybody, but haters are going to hate. People get angry. I might as well tell of an experience in heaven. There was a time, yes, Lord, I will. I have, in the spirit, I, whether in the body, out of the body, I, I don't know. God knows. Because when you see these things that happens just like that, you just don't know where you were at the moment. But you know what you saw. It's the same as when I, at eight years old, I saw the hole in the rock. And the stone pushed out of the rock and it left a hole, a window in a rock. And 52 years later, I rendezvoused at that point in Window Rock, Arizona, ministering to 91 tribal nations. So you don't know what you're seeing sometimes, but I have seen one, two, three throne rooms in heaven. And one of those throne rooms is different than any I've ever seen. And it's kind of dark looking, but it's not dark like dark. It's probably mystery, prophetic. And in it is a short tiered stage. One step, Cynthia, it's just one that you step up on. I could tell you its location. I could tell you I could see it now as plain as I saw it then. And it's just a one-tiered stage. And on it, in every one of those rooms are columns, big columns that hold nothing up. It's the wildest thing. They're just majestic, ma magnificent columns. And in this room, it's like a swirly column colored. 
And there is a throne that sits there. And in the particular room I'm trying to talk to you about, I, sometimes they cross in your thinking. You're just human. Actually, you're, if you're born again, you're more than just that. You have the Spirit of God living in you. But out at the end of where he sits, Lord, help me with that. In this one place where he sits on his throne, out at his feet were seven burning lamps that were blazing fire. I'll never forget that. And his eyes are blazing fire. You just think you've seen eyes until you see those that are flames coming out of his pupils. And I remember looking at those seven lamps and I was thinking, what is that? Look at that. And I know the scripture talks about seven spirits of God and seven anointings of the spirit and so forth. But the, the wildest thing of seeing this was out of the floor, letters started coming up. Letters, like Hebrew letters on one column. And he would sit and look like this, and when they would come up, he would turn his head to look and read them. I remember seeing Japanese letters. I knew it was Japanese. It was on white background with red writing, and it was straight up and down. I don't know what it said, but I saw it. And can you imagine what they're going to do with this when this stream is done today? And it would happen like that. And I asked the Lord, I, when it was over, I, I can see it now. And I, I said, Lord, what was that? He said, this is the room where I sit to read all the prayers of my people that come up before me. He don't miss one of them, not one. If you pray in Jesus' name, he hears it, he sees it. And it's recorded there. And while I was praying a while ago, now honestly, you really need to get the pride out of your heart right now. And while I was praying a while ago to the Lord, I, I was really making petition for us. I was really talking and making petition, and the Lord said, tell them about that room. So you know, I could see it coming in, at his face, but I wanted to go to that room. There he sees it all. And the seven flames that burn are seven anointings that are present to make it all happen. We are not forgotten. This nation is not forgotten. In the time of the lion, everyone has their time with the lions. Daniel had his, and then those who threw him in had theirs. But it always happens. And God is not late. Get ready to be, to see victory. Don't get ready to see defeat. It makes no difference what men think they're going to do or what men are trying to do. God can one breath, one blast from his nostrils split the Red Sea. One blast from his nostrils and, and the praise of his people parted that sea, caused him to arise and come toward them for deliverance. Yeah. So do not fret your heart. Is it Psalm 37 we need to see? Maybe so. Put it on the screen. Dear God, 
Let's draw the sword. I don't know. I said, there it is. Fret not thyself because of evildoers. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. <laughs> I will put this up beside a witch's incantation any day of the week. I will put it and pit it against any warlock's verbiage, against any occultist prophecy. For listen to the sound of your God's words. Keep going. Trust in the Lord and do good. Come on, read it with me. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself and any wise to do evil. You don't have to take it in your own hands. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him. For he seeth that his day is coming. The Lord shall laugh at him, Jeremy. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation, Swab Harari. Their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bows shall be broken. What do you do with a broken bow? A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. You know why? Because it will, it will outdo no matter how much the wicked has. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time. And in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume into smoke, shall they consume away. The wicked borroweth and payeth not again, but the righteous showeth mercy and giveth. For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. I have been young, and now I am old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. He is ever merciful and lendeth and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore. For the Lord loveth judgment and forsaketh not his saints. 
They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment. The law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. <laughs> the wicked watcheth the righteous and seeketh to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. I have seen the wicked in great power, huh? And spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away, and lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together. The end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. We speak that into the time in which we live. We speak that over Donald Trump. We speak that over righteousness. We speak that over the church. We speak that over all righteous people in every nation that they will be protected by the 37th Psalm. The 37th Psalm. Hallelujah. The Lord always has a word. 66 books of them. Hallelujah. What a service already. Are you glad you came today? Praise God. See, at, at some of you watch the 11th hour, you see me say sometimes, 